Look at this. This is a new episode of How Made. You see this? This 3D drawing. We're going to talk about how this thing was made. About how these this camera movement, you know. We're on the small screen again, you know, so now we've got the good frame rate. But now we can actually play this in real time. See that? Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, we're going to talk about how these transitions were done. And it's just through a combination of different effects. So we've got already, I think the most visible thing we've got going on here is the lines going on here, these sort of anime looking motion, motion lines. But other than that, we take those away, just ignore them just like that, you know, get that nonsense out of there. You know, that superficial effect on top. You can see there's a lot of movement going on here, but you can see it's really fake looking. It just, it sort of just conjures the effect, conjures the effect. It doesn't, it's not like at all realistic in any way. You can see this last frame here is just, this looks like a character of someone I know, but this thing here is just super, it's just things are moving generally in the direction they should. There's nothing right about this. It's horrifyingly bad and wrong, but it gets the effect across. So it looks kind of like it's turning. I mean, you kind of, it's, it's kind of almost there, but yeah, everything is just sort of moving in the direction it kind of should. And like this thing should be in front, but like you can see it's behind. But as long as things are moving in the direction they need to prior to the transition and also after the transition, then it should look just about right. Same thing goes on here, you know, and also we've got a bunch of different movie clips just so we can, so, so that we're able to get everything moving independently so that we get this 3D effect. Not to mention the background is moving too. When you have the background moving, I think that's one of the things that really sells the motion, sells the camera motion the most. Because when you're moving a camera around, that's the thing that's moving around the fastest. Maybe if you're just like, trucking left and right, the background might not move that much. But if you're turning, then the background is going to move the most. So I think that's the thing that really gets, gives the impression of a camera rotating. And so that's what we get going on here. The horizon is actually changing. It's also moving left and right. Everything's the background is what's really telling us the direction the camera is moving. And so, yeah, we got this huge pop here, but because there's such drastic motion before and after, it doesn't look too bad. We got the sponge, we got the face, everything is independently moving. And that's what gives us the sense of depth. We got this, look at that. There's not even any like, Morph Beck doesn't even have a face here, but because it's out of the screen mostly, and because it only appears for one frame, it looks okay. It's just like a, what is it, a streak, a blur? I don't remember the word, I'm sorry. And yeah, we got two different copies of Spongy here. Spongy is actually, if I if I were to move this out just a little bit, you'd see that gap there, right there. But just like that, we have that extra layer behind it to give it that sense of depth. Remind us that Spongy is, you know, it's a physical object, it's a shape that looks just like that. And we've got two different layers of the bent of the supports moving faster than whatever's going on inside. And that gives us the 3D movement. And finally, we got this thing that has nothing to do with the 3D movement. We've got this uh, blobby emotion, and that's just drawn frame by frame. And I just did that for fun. I really shouldn't have put this much effort into it, but we've got barf bags, shape changing in, in real time, you know, animated in ones. And we've also got the barf inside moving. And the, I made the barf a little darker and a little more different from the color of the bag just to make it more apparent that this fancy motion is going on. You gotta really show it off, you know? And so that's going on. I kinda got this weird thing going on here. It's not like as convincing movement as I would like it to be, but it's pretty smooth. And then that pushes out just like that. And that's just like really exaggerated because that's the last frame. And we want to have that last one be the most like strong, I guess, to really sell the movement. That barf bag is really pushing it, pushing this thing forward. And then the camera moves and the camera moves sort of hides the cut a little bit. I mean, obviously it's not perfect and hey, the camera doesn't move at the beginning, but just like that, you can sort of tell by the movement afterward that the camera sort of got there by moving up. And that's it, that's the effect. Is there anything else to talk about? Well, let's see. Yeah, you can look at that fella if you want. I'll see you next time.